The wind's right. Yeah. Like, I did it, and there's Tom. Secure play. Welcome to Retired Time Productions. These are my Dominator V2s from Fat Shark, and they have a module bay, and I put my receivers right in here. I've got a 1G3 receiver from Laser Brushless Gimbal, and it receives a video on this circular polarized antenna from the video transmitter on my Twin Star plane right here. But recently, something new came out on the market. Brand new product from Get FPV. Just got it in the mail. Just came on the market. And this is actually a Fat Shark module that does the same thing basically as the one I have in here now. But it has a couple added features that I'm excited about. And I'd like to talk to you about that now. So here we are on the Get FPV website. I want to thank Get FPV for getting me this product quickly. It came to me in about three days from Florida to Virginia. And now it's out of stock. So I'm glad I ordered it right away when I heard about it. I think they have a limited supply. So the thing I like about it is the 1258 megahertz. The laser brushless gimbal version does not have that frequency. It has these top three frequencies, but not the 1258 megahertz, which is what I really like. That's my favorite frequency. So now I've got all four. So let's take a look at the uh, box opening here. It's just a quickie because I don't like box openings. So here is my receipt. It has the 1.3 gigahertz or 1G3 RX receiver module. Now this is what the package looks like. Inside the package is basically just the unit and an antenna. Now it's factory tested to minus 90 dB. I think the laser brushless gimbal version is about 85, minus 85 dB. So here's what the back of it looks like. And it has the same pins on both units. The laser brushless has the same pins. And here's the front. Now it also had the package, and I looked for an instruction manual, but there was none. So you'll have to download the manual. Now it came with an antenna. This is a stock antenna. You can also use other antennas like this uh, blue beam circular polarized antenna. Now those both units will fit into the modular bay in the same manner and then you put this uh, cover over the top. Now the laser brushless gimbal has three frequencies as I said and this next wave or fat shark module has four. The laser brushless gimbal has three status lights to tell you the frequencies Next wave or fat shark has none. So here's what they look like up close. A little side view. And the back view. You can see they have the same sort of plug-in pins. Very similar. And they are si side by side. I think maybe the next wave is a little smaller, but no big deal. Okay, so to plug in the module, you just simply plug it into the pin header in the uh, bay, like that, and press it in and put the cover on. Very simple to do. And then you can screw on your favorite antenna. There are two frequencies to test, 1258 MHz and 1280 MHz, and this is a 400 milliwatt transmitter that I got from ReadyMade RC and it's a digital brand. I also have another transmitter that I'll be testing from ReadyMade RC. This is all I had available. So we're outside now we're going to give it a test and we're going to start out with 1258 megahertz so just plugging in the supply right now. Okay now 1258 megahertz is running right now on the goggles. I'll just give you a, a quick look to show you what that looks like. You can see it's very bright. I, it's like the, the video is overdriven, but it looks clear. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and switch to 1280 megahertz, channel 9. Going to find the frequency on the goggles here. There we go. Now you can see this looks the same, virtually the same as the other one. I don't see much difference at all. All right, so I moved on to using the Twin Star with circular polarized antennas and another receiver from ReadyMade RC that is 1G3. So I have it set to 1258 to start the test. Circular polarized antennas. Now I'm going to set the uh, goggles to 1258 as well. 
1258 and 1280 are the only frequencies we can use in the US. The other two frequencies are not allowed here, so that's why I'm not testing them. Okay, you can see already the display is very bright and the OSD is flickering, which was a concern for me. I couldn't understand why it flickered. Okay, now I'm going to move on to go to 1280 and see if it looks any different. Still with the circular polarized antennas. Just go ahead and set the goggles to 1280. And pretty much the same display. I don't see any difference. Uh, OSD is still flickering. Okay, now I'm going to put the laser brushless gimbal receiver back in. And interesting, the audio seems to work with that, but does not work with the Fat Shark module. Don't know what's going on with the audio here. I'm going to use 1280 because that's the only frequency available in the U.S. with this module. So you can see the picture looks pretty good. There is some ghosting, I think some reflections or something from the CP antennas. So the next thing I tried was going to the monopole antennas, the rubber ducts, just to see if that ghosting would go away with the laser brushless re gimbal receiver. So we took that outside. Okay, so outside you can see now that uh, the ghosting is gone and pretty much everything looks good. Display is good and OSD looks good. Now we're going to go back to uh, the next wave or the Fat Shark receiver and try that with the rubber ducks. I also want to try turning off my RC radio and see if that helps. So I'm going to go back to 1258 here and then we're going to go ahead and check that out. Now I've turned my RC radio off because I thought maybe the UHF was affecting the display or something but it didn't make any difference with, the, with my RC radio off. So my next thought was let's go into the settings on the Vector OSD and see if I can do anything. So I go into the settings, I go into OSD setup right here and then go down to black level and try that. So I bumped it up to 3 is the highest setting. That is the highest setting. And then I bumped the white level down to 0. And just to see what would happen. And lo and behold, the flickering went away. So then I went ahead and put the lens cap on just to see how that would look. And it looks pretty solid. No flickering at all. I don't understand why this happens. It could be the receivers. It could be something incompatibility. Uh, we don't know. But uh, this is a preliminary test anyhow. So I'm on the FPV Lab site right here where they have a Fat Shark Beta 1G3 Next Wave RX testing forum. And I've been reading some of the comments on here. And basically, people who have tested it and tested it more thoroughly than me have found out that there are varying results, but generally it's a pretty good receiver and works very well. Uh, it's pretty much still uh, undecided how far you can fly with this thing. I don't know. It depends on the antennas, the conditions, and all that. Uh, obviously, a receiver in your goggles isn't going to go as far as a ground station with a fancier setup. So, I don't know. That's still up in the air, too, so I don't know. And uh, we'll have to find out more about the audio and what's going on with the audio in relation to use with different uh, transmitters. So I don't know about that either, but time will tell and we'll find out more. For now, I'm signing out and I'll do some more testing and find out more later. Leave some comments under the video if you may, and uh, maybe some of you will have the answers as you try these uh, units out. Thanks for watching. Here, Mike.